So for this chemist guide, you guys are going to want to try and find valuables that will get you guys enough money to buy a sniper rifle at a buy station. Now after you guys do have enough valuables, you're going to want to come over to a buy station. I think there are a lot of bots around here. Yeah, there's one. We're going to take them down. Let's grab this RPK. So you're going to want to come to a buy station and sell everything you guys do have. Now you're going to want to look for a sniper rifle. Now it really don't matter which one you guys do buy. I'm going to buy the MCPR. Uh, the gear, if you guys can, buy an extra gas mask. Even if you don't have one, buy one at least. If you can buy two, buy two. If you can buy three, buy three. This will kind of just, the more gas masks you have, the safer you'll be. Um, so what you guys are going to want to do next is come over to the radioactive zone, okay? And after you guys come over here, you guys will notice that he will be spawned in. Okay, you guys will see the logo on top of the area. Now, all you guys are going to want to do is aim through your scope and try and find him. There he is right there in my game. You're going to headshot him. You're going to knock him down. And just try and hit him if you have to through the smoke. Or just look for him in the area. So he will have these blue guys around him. Which will make it definitely a lot harder to kill him. But you're just going to want to headshot him at least twice. And you should take him down. It's simple if you guys can hit a headshot. Um, I know it can be a lot harder when there are a lot of bots around you. If you just follow the same path that I am. Where I'm sitting up here on this cliffside. Hopefully I don't die right here. Oh my god. Okay. We got to armor up. If you guys just follow the same path that I follow, you guys should have no problem doing it. Now, I know sometimes finding a sniper rifle might be the hardest part for you, or buying one. But honestly, if you just take your time... A gold bar, nice. If you just take your time and look around, you guys will be able to find one very easily, or buy one. Oh my god, there are so many bots up here. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump up here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap all around these AIs. I'm going to swap down. Move very quickly. Drop down. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? M13B. Nice. Okay. Now, we just got to exfil. So, we're going to move the totally opposite way. This is kind of why you need a few gas masks in case you do get caught by some AIs. So, where are these exfil zones? I'm going to make sure. Hold on. There's some AIs right here. Take them down. Just get out of this area so we don't have to worry about the radiation anymore. So, this exfil zone is where? There's one over here in this corner. So, all we're going to do is head over there. Now, you guys can go over here in a vehicle. You guys can run over here. It really don't matter, but what I highly recommend is if you see AIs, stay out of their field of view. Um, you definitely don't want to be getting hit by AIs, nor do you want them to see you because reason one, they will kill you very, very quickly. Um, and that is a very cause for rage inside of DMZ. And number two, they give off your position. There's a lot of times when I'm playing DMZ and AIs will shoot at me. And I'll, or they'll shoot at another player, and I'll know something's going on. Something ain't right in this area. So we got 400 meters till we can exfil. Okay, we're gonna keep moving this day. We do have a gold bar, which is nice. We have $9,500 in uh, valuables and cash. So we're gonna move this way. Now, if you guys follow, if you guys have the same exact game I have, uh, you're just gonna kind of want to follow this same exact path. It's kind of the best spot and path to not go across any AIs at all. So we're 200 meters away. We do have this M13B. It does look sick, don't it, guys? It looks sexy, don't it? Oh my gosh. I have a few of these actually in my contraband stash. I don't know why. I just sometimes get this weird like thrill of killing the chemist. All right. So we got this MCPR, which is a beautiful sniper rifle. Probably one of the best as well, as well as the Victus. So you're going to want to come around this building, okay? You're not going to want to run through the uh, zone over there as the bots are heavily, heavily placed over there. I don't know why they decided to do that. Hold on, I'm going to loot these real quick. If I can find a GPU, that would be quite amazing. Uh, we'll take this hard drive. Why not? I know there was one back there I didn't pick up, but it's all good. Office cabinet, nothing. Police academy server admin. I'll have to remember that's where that goes. Okay. Another computer stash. Uh, don't seem like nothing. Those are bathrooms. Okay. Now, you guys don't have to loot this area if you guys don't want to. You guys can just head straight to the exfil. All right. So, we're going to head over to the exfil. I highly recommend you guys run alongside the trees in the mountains if you guys' exfil is over here. Or if you guys have a game where the radioactive zone is somewhere else, but your exfil is here. Stick to the trees. Stick to, you know, hidden. 
I don't know why, but today my DMZ has been glitching very, very badly. Um, it's not like an internet issue. It's just like the game almost seems like something's going on that shouldn't be going on. All right, so we're calling in this expo helicopter. Hopefully we can get out of here. Ultra one, this is Dino four. We're moving to the LZ for extraction now. So now what I do when we're in this expo situation is I'll kind of back up and say the sniper you have found, you're going to want to chill out and wait and see if there's any enemy players coming. This is very important because you guys will get, uh, basically annihilated by an enemy player if he's nearby and he'll get lucky and get the M13B. So you're just going to want to watch with your scope. You definitely don't want to take any chances at this. You want to stay as hidden as possible. I'll show you guys something real quick. I don't know if it'll load in. Yeah, there's no bots over there right now, but at the start of a match, it's heavily guarded. Okay. Uh, yeah, nobody's over there. Okay. Expo chopper's down. We're just going to want to make our way over there. Make sure you guys are watching these corners. You guys aren't going to be wanting to sprint right across this field. You're going to want to make sure you're watching every little bit. So now that you're in this expo chopper, do not lay down like this. I see a lot of people just lay down and do that. I do it too sometimes. But when you have this M13B, you want to be looking out all these windows because you guys can see enemy players rushing up to you if you guys have to. And you guys will be able to kill them very easily because you'll see them before they see you. So that's really it for this solo guide. I hopefully I helped you guys achieve this M13B if you guys haven't unlocked it yet. Thank you guys so much all for watching this video. Um, you know, we hit 4,000 subscribers here on the channel last night, and I just want to say you guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support you guys have been doing. Uh, it's it's insane. Okay, that's all I want to say. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's been your boy Spazo. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out, boys. Have a good one. Have a good rest of your guys' day. Have a good rest of your guys' night. I'm out. Peace out, boys.